In this video, we're going to take a look at the blocks that are pre-created by Moodle and available to users um, when you are logged in, you have editing turned on, and you have teacher access. So take a look at my Moodle page, which right now is in construction. I have editing turned on, which you can tell because the off option is in the upper right hand corner. If I scroll down to the right, there's an add a block pull down menu. Now there are a ton of little blocks here um, that I'm going to give you a little bit of information for, to you in text form because most of these I don't actually use. And so I've added the ones that I think are necessary and then a few of them we're going to look at in greater detail. So for example, the one with the RSS feeds, we're going to look at that in greater detail later in the course. And then um, the one that is the calendar, we're going to look at especially in its own section as well. But the rest of these um, in general I don't use. The most popular one for me is HTML. I use that all the time. And again, that's one that we'll cover in more detail on its own. So a couple things I just want to mention here. The one called Latest News, this one actually is a block that correlates with the News Forum, which is right here at the top of the course. Now that is by default on every Moodle page when they're created, and it is a place where you could post announcements, which then are going to display in the block called the Latest News block. Um, as well as in a forum. And if uh, students subscribed to that forum, they would also get an email, and that's assuming that they have an updated email address in their Moodle profile. Um, and if that updated email address is their apps address, they're not elementary students because as of the summer of 2012, we don't have email activated for elementary students. So the other ones that I added, I'm just going to show you um, that are maybe of interest are the online users and the people. I kind of like having the online users block because then I can kind of see who's been active on my page and it might be a point of discussion or an email or an exchange of communication with somebody knowing that they've been um, into it. And then the last one probably what I consider the most important is the people block. Because if you have the people block, you can click on the participants link, 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 sorry, and what you're going to notice is a list of all of your participants, and what I really like about it is you can see their last access, and you can sort by that as well. So for instance, if I click last access and the arrow's pointing down, then the person who um, it was longest ago that they accessed the course will end up at the top. That's important because that way it can stimulate a conversation with somebody who hasn't been active or using your course page as a, as a resource. And um, you can see who then is most active in the course as well. So that I think is helpful. So um, I'll give you a little overview of a few of the other ones in text form, but I just wanted you to know that that pull down menu is there and that I don't use a ton of them and the ones that I use most often we'll cover in greater detail.